Hi everyone. In this video, we will solve a series of problems in chapter one from this book. It's called Mechanics of Material, the sixth edition. The first problem we have, we have two solid cyl cylindrical roads, circular cylindrical roads, AB and BC, are welded together at B and loaded as shown. So AB is loaded 40 kilonewton and BC is loaded 30 kilonewton. Knowing that the average normal stress must not exceed 175 megapascal in road AB and 150 megapascal in road BC, determine the smallest allowable values of D sub 1, which is the diameter of the circular road for AB, and D sub 2, which is the diameter of the circular road BC. So what so here we were told we have road AB correct and the average normal stress is less than or equal to 175 megapascal and road BC its average normal stress is 150 less than or equal to 150 megapascal So we will solve each road by itself by using a free body diagram. All right, so let's draw the first road. So this road is A, B. And we are told that this road is loaded with a force of 40 kilo newton in the problem we were we, we were told that the two two roads are are welded together at b so road bc is welded at the point b so the load that's being on bc that's affecting road bc will also affect uh, road ab at b so that will be plus 30 kilo newton so the total will be 70 kilo newton so this is the force on a b all right so we know that the average normal stress is equal to the force on a b divided by the area at a b we know that uh, the area, uh, it's a cylindrical area, circle, so the cross section is a circle, is pi over 4 d sub 1 squared. So here we are given the average normal stress. We found the force. So what we need to find is the diameter. So let's solve for the area in this case. So it will be pi over 4 d sub 1 squared equal to the force AB divided by the average normal stress for that road. <coughs> so we know that the force in here is 70 times 10 to the power 3 Newton divided by its 175 times 10 mega I mean 10 to the power 6 Pascal and that will give us 4 times 10 to the power minus 4 meter square all right. All right, so pi over four d sub one squared equal to four times 10 to the power minus four meters squared. So we can solve for d sub one by taking the square root of 4 times 10 to the power minus 4 
meters squared divided by pi over 4 and when we plug this into the, our calculator d sub 1 it will give us 0 0.0225 meter and that's equivalent to 22.5 millimeter all right so in the second road bc we will draw the free body diagram so b c and we were told that it's being loaded with a force of 30 kilo newton so this is our loaded force at bc and we are interested to find d sub 1 so we know that the average normal average normal stress for road BC is equal to the loaded force at BC divided by the cylindrical uh, circular cylindrical area which is area a BC All right so we know that BC divided by the area which is circle pi over 4 d sub 2 sorry d sub 2 squared so in this problem we know we were we are given the uh, average normal stress and we are given the uh, loaded force and we need to find the diameter so we will solve for the area pi over 4 d sub 2 squared equal to the loaded force at bc divided the average normal stress at bc and that will equal to 30 times 10 to the power 3 newton divided by 150 times 10 to the power 6 mega mean 10 to the power 6 pascal and that will give us Two times ten to the power minus four meter squared. So we say pi over four d sub two squared equal to two times ten to the power minus four meter squared. So we can solve for diameter two, which represent the circular road of AB. And we will take the square root it will be 2 times 10 to the power minus 4 meter square divided by pi over 4 and that will give us 0 0.01595 meter or it can be equivalent to 15.95 millimeter so this problem 1.2 is similar to 1.1 so here the pro problem 1.2 says two solid cylindrical roads a b b c are welded together at b and loaded as shown knowing that diameter d sub 1 which is for road a b is equal to 50 millimeter and the diameter sub 2 which is for road BC equal 30 millimeter. Find the average normal stress at the mid section of road AB and road BC. So in this problem, we were given the same thing as the first problem, road AB, which are solid cylindrical circle of roads. We are given that its diameter is 50 millimeter. When you, so when you divide this by a thousand it will give you 0 0.05 meter and here we are asked to find the average normal stress on this road and we are given road BC its diameter is 30 millimeter and when you divide this by a thousand it will give you 0 
meter and we want to find the average normal stress the allowable one all right so we know that the average normal stress is equal to the force uh, in this case we will deal with rod AB divided by the area of AB all right so from the previous problem 1.1 we figured out that the loaded force on road AB is 70 times 10 to the power 3 Newton divided by it's a circle the cross section is a circle so pi over 4 and the diameter for D1 is given to us as 0 0.05 meter squared and when we plug this into our calculator it will give us 35.65 megapascal so what that means is when we have road A B and its diameter is 50 millimeter the allowable average stress that we can apply on this road should be less than or equal to 35.65 megapascal similarly the average normal stress for road BC divided by the area BC uh, from the previous problem uh, we figured out that the loaded force on BC is 30 times 10 to the power 3 Newton divided by it says it's a circular cylindrical area so the cross section is a circle pi over 4 D sub 2 oh, sorry so we were given we are given D sub 2 is 0 0.03 meter all square so when you plug this into your into your calculator it will give you 42.44 megapascal so what does that mean it means that when you have road BC and its diameter is 0 0.03 meet, mm, meter or 30 millimeter the allowable uh, average normal stress should be less than or equal to 42.44 mega pascal so next problem is 1.3 in this problem we have two solid cylindrical roads a b and b c are welded together at b and loaded as shown determine the magnitude of the force b for which the tensile stress in road AB has the same magnitude as the compressive stress in road BC so here we are told that we have here a tensile stress and here we have a compressive stress which is equal to the tensile stress of road AB so first thing let's draw a free body diagram of each road so here we draw a free body diagram for road AB and in road AB it's being loaded with force B and from Newton third law so what does Newton third law says Newton third law say for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction so when so when two bodies interact in this case AB and BC they apply forces to one another that are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction uh, and, and and the reason why the because objects when they interact with each other they have the tendency 
to resist any change of motion so in this case a b interacts with b c so when you so when we pull uh, with load B that cause tensile stress on road AB it will have uh, the same magnitude but in opposite direction this force so let's call this a B so here we can say that the sum of the forces in the X direction should be zero all right so what does that give us so we so we take this as the positive x direction so this loaded force b will be negative b plus a b equal to zero so that tells us that b a b is equal to b okay so the normal stress at road a b in this case it's a tensile stress is load b a b divided by the area of a b or we can say b over area a b and the area that is given to us is a solid cylinder a circular cylinder so the cross section is a circle so that means that b will be equal to pi over 4 times okay so from the figure the diameter of road a b is 2 inches 2 inches squared 2 to the power 2 is 4 so 4 cancel with 4 so that tells us that the distance uh, this road that have tensile stress which is road a b is equal to the loaded force divided by pi All right. so in here we have the free body diagram for road b c and from the figure so we said this is a compressive force with 30 caps and uh, on both direction and here here and here this is 30 and this is 30 and from the problem just like the other two problems the it's welded at b so whatever effect we have loaded load from a b it will affect also the load at point b so in here we will be having a force b and again as we mentioned in the first free body diagram that the uh, in newton third law tells us for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction so when we have two bodies interact in case in this our in our case b c and the wall uh, they up, uh, they apply forces to one another that are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction and that is because when you when when objects interact to each other interact with each other they have the tendency to resist any change of motion so imagine when you um, push on a wall the wall will push back onto you so from the 30 caps in here and 30 caps in here that's pushing on road bc which is pushing onto wall b that will give us a an opposite direction let's say this b uh, bc okay and we say that this is our positive x direction all right so we say that the sum of the forces in the x direction equal to zero so here so this will be negative b and this will also be negative b c and these will be positive 60 
equal to zero. So let's solve for uh, so let's solve for B C to be force B C equal to sixty minus. Good. So now we know that the normal stress on road BC, which is a compressive stress, is equal to the force BC divided by the area BC. Area BC. So we were told that the force BC is 60 minus B divided by the area BC. All right. So the compressive stress, which is 60 minus B divided by the area. So here we are given a solid cylindrical. The cross section is an area. So, the, and from the figure, we're given that the diameter is three inches. So that will be pi over four times three inch squared. So that will give us 60 minus B divided by. So when we plug this into our calculator, it will give us 7.0. 68 all right and from the problem here that the compressive stress is equal to the tensile stress so from the problem tell us that the tensile stress is equal to the compressive stress or in other word the stress in rod a b equal to the stress in road B C so we will equal this equation to this sorry number one equation all right so the first one is B over pi so it will be B over pi equal to 60 minus b over 7.068 so we can do a uh, cross multiplication which will give us 7.068 b equal to pi times 60 minus b so that will be 60 pi minus B pi so we can move this to the other side of the equation which is this it will be uh, pi plus 7.068 we take the common factor times 60 pi so you can say that b will equal to 60 pi divided by pi plus 7.068 so you plug this into your calculator and it will give you uh, 18.46 kips all right so in this problem 1.4 is a continuation of problem 1.3 it says knowing that the loaded force equal to 40 kips determine the average normal stress at mid section of a road a b b at road b c 
All right, so here we have the free body diagram for the road AB. Uh, so in the previous problem, we 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 needed to find B. In this problem, we are given the loaded force B. So in this case, it's forty kips. And here, kips means a thousand pound force. All right. Uh, so here, so, so we said also that this is the positive x direction. So the sum of the forces in the x direction equal to zero. So that tells us that this is negative 40 kips plus the force B and AB equal to zero. So the force at rod AB equal to 40 kips another important thing that we should keep in mind is that when the answer is in positive it means that we are doing a tensile uh, force or or if the stress is in negative it means that we're doing a, 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 a sorry if it is positive it means uh, tensile stress if it is negative it means a compressive stress so here we want to find the tensile stress or in other words we want to find the uh, the, the normal stress for road a b which is equal to the force the loaded force at a b divided by the area of a b all right so here we're given to be 40 kips divided by uh, in here the area is pi over 4 2 inch squared so when we plug this into our calculator it will give us 12.73 kips all right All right, so here we have the free body diagram for road BC, just like we had in the previous problem. But in the previous problem, we were asked to find B, but in this problem, we are given it to be as 40. So here we will say that the sum of the forces in the X direction is equal to zero. So in the positive direction is 30 plus 30, which is 60 and in the negative direction is minus 40 minus b c and that will equal to zero all right so i think i i realized i did a mistake all right let me show you in here as you can see we have this force and this force right which when we where is it uh, all right so right here so we have the 30 kips and 30 kips in here the force that b is on is applied to the left hand direction so from newton third law it's it's the same magnitude but in opposite direction so this that i did is wrong so it should be like this. Okay, so that will be positive. All right, so when we move this to the other side, it will be negative. And when the result, so uh, even, so when we found the value of b which is 18.46 so when you subtract 60 minus 18.46 it will give you a negative answer and negative force means compressive force so that will be negative so that we will uh, replace it with 60 minus b so in here 
in this problem, which is 1.4. So here we have, the, so here B is equal to 40 kibs, all right? So from here, as you can see, when we pull it to the left from Newton third law opposite and the same magnitude, all right? Opposite and the same magnitude, which is B C. All right, so that that means that this is wrong. So let's fix this. So it would be minus forty plus sixty plus B. B, C equal to zero, right? So minus 40 plus 60 give us 20 plus B, B, C equal to zero. So we move this to the other side of the equation. And so it will give us, so 20 equal to minus C. We can divide this and multiply um, minus so we can be B, B, C equal to minus 20 kips and 20 means compressive force so in here we will say that the normal stress for BC equal to, which is compressive force, is the load on BC divided by the area of BC. So the load is minus 20 kips. And we have a circular cross section. And from the graph, it was three, right? Three inches, yes. So we got three inches squared so when you plug this into your calculator it will give you minus 2.83 kips and we will continue the rest of the problems in another video